what's up guys to be here today we're back with another video today we're doing an unpackaging video so I ordered something off Amazon and um, I wanted to show it to you guys when I eventually got it so let's open it right up and if you guys do go enjoy the video uh, make sure you hit that like button down below um, so not only this will be if this is what I think it is not only this will be an unpackaging video but also be an unbox or like a discussion video so, as you can see, I pre-ordered pre the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V Volume 2, and it has the card inside. So, let us carefully, and I mean carefully, open this as I almost stabbed the book with scissors or something. John. Um, but yeah, so inside, we are, have Clear Wing Fast Dragon. This is actually the first time I've ever, ever ordered um, a Show and Jump um, book that has a card in it. And here we go, guys. Clear Wing Fast Dragon. I am so pumped that I was able to get this for such a cheap price. Like, I have a feeling this will go up in price. Uh, this was, I was able to pre order this for $10. Let's see, I got my sleeve ready for it. And actually, I do want to make a Wind Witch deck. Um, I think it might do well after the next, in the next, like, meta um, post ban list. Um, Wind Witch is especially, um, if, um, because if Zoo and True Draco gets hit, that gives a chance for Wind Witch and, Wind, Wind Witch Invoked, Wind Witch, and all those other decks to move up. But yeah, so, we got the vault, we got the thing here. I actually have never read this. I kind of watched the series, so it's kind of cool, cool, but, um, maybe cool to sit down and actually read this. I don't know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, let's talk, oh, is that, uh, okay, no, it's just the, other, the girl. But yeah, let's talk about Clear Wing Fast Dragon. So, why do I think Clear Wing Fast Dragon is a good card? Well, let's go over it. So, Clear Wing Fast Dragon is a level 7 Pendulum Synchro. Let's go over its Pendulum Effect. You can send one face-up Speedroid Tuner and one face-up Non-Tuner Monster you control to the graveyard, whose total levels equal 7. Special summon this card from your Pendulum Zone, and you can only use this effect of... Clear Wing Fast Dragon once per turn. And then to Synchro Summon this, you need one tuner or one or more non-tuner wind monsters. During either player's turn, you can target one face of monster your opponent controls that was special summoned from the extra deck. Until the end of this turn, change its attack to zero. Also, that face-up monster has its effects negated. You can only use this effect of Clear Wing Fast Dragon once per turn. If this card is in the monster zone, is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can place this card in your pendulum zone. So what's really cool about this card is that if you are running a speed or deck, you can basically just keep recycling this card, which I do like. Um, but actually, I do see this b possibly becoming a staple in Wind Witch decks. So, as you know, Wind Witch is an archetype that is mixed with... Um, it's mixed... It's, an, it's basically an engine of, like, unusual... Usually it's about six cards. You got three ice spells, two glass spells, and one uh, winter bell. But if you if you're crazy like me, you you'd like to run two um, winter bells. But anyways, and the, the combo is you special summon. Um, if for those who don't know, you special summon ice spell, which allows you to special s summon uh, glass bell, which allows you to add snow bell to your hand to special summon. It to the field, then you synchro for level seven, preferably the um, synchro wind witch, which allows you to do 800 points of damage, and then you can synchro into an, in an invincible uh, clear wing or crystal wing synchro dragon. Now, you guys are probably thinking, yeah, crystal wing is the best card of the w of the wind witch engine. There's really no other reason to not play it. Now I'm not saying not play it, but I'm think I after kind of testing with this card on like YGO Pro, I think this card would work really well with Wind Witches, um, especially since the whole thing with the Wind Witch engine is with the deck I'm running. I the only extra deck monsters I go into is actually Crystal Wing, um, Synchro Dragon or um, Clear Wing Fast Dragon, and. Usually, like it's it's kind of the same thing with the whole um, Wind Witch Invoked deck, where you only you really um, want to put your resources into getting either one Invoked in, into the extra deck zone or Crystal Wing into the extra deck zone. In fact, this is actually really easy to summon. It in the if anything it, to summon an invincible version of this, it's really easy to summon as long as you have two cards in your hand. As long as you have a um, 
an ice bell and you special summon that to the field, you special summon another ice bell to the field. Um, ice bell does its 500 points of damage. You special summon um, snow bell and you get a clear wing fast dragon. Which I think is, is pretty cool. Um, I like its effect of the fact that it can negate um, opponent's extra deck monster effects. Like this basic... I, I don't know how meta this card could be, but since it's during either player's turn, I think it could do really well in stopping, like, maybe your opponent special summon, your Z summons a Hammer Kong, or a Dryden, or a Shockanine to the field. And they, sorry, and they activate their ability. You can use Clearwing Fast Dragon's ability to basically negate that and say, Ho, hold up, you ain't doing that. Um, but yeah, I just think that this is a good this card is a good floodgate for the Wind Witch deck. I mean, the Wind, or the Wind Witch engine. I mean, the, already they have Crystal Wing um, Synchro Dragon, but I think this is another good card to add to it. I'm curious to see how this card does in the TCG. It just came out if you pre-ordered the um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V Volume 2. This card ha has had use in the OCG. Um, I was looking up some Wind Witch decks, and they actually ran one or two copies of this card so I mean I think it's a good idea to take a look at the OCG because the OCG even though they it, it is different from the TCG based some of their decisions and investments or some of the decisions in the OCG that are made in decks they can help with your investments for the TCG so my whole point about the this is if you have a chance to pick up this card for a cheap price, I highly recommend it. Um, in the words of M. Cole 40, this card might be the next Utopia the Lightning where it's from. It's, 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 it's hard to get and it might go up in price. I think this card, um, just because of how rare it might be, it, I'd say it might start at a, a good like ten to fifteen dollars, maybe even more. Um, because if we take a look at Utopia the Lightning, it started off really relatively cheap at about seven dollars, and it jumped. Like right now, I'm so glad I got my set recently, but it, I got a, like a big amount. It was forty dollars just to get a copy of Utopia the Lightning, and it's crazy. So, if you do have the chance, um, I recommend picking this up. I think it'll be a good investment whether you want to make a Wind Witch deck or you want to just have this as an investment either like trade or sell but yeah so if you guys do enjoy the video make sure you hit that like button down below um subscribe if you're new um comment down below what you think this card will do for the wind winch wind witch engine again i want to make it clear that i do know crystal wing synchro dragon is better but i do think that this card has some potential as seen by it mo um multiple copies of it being used in the OCG. And for those who say, OCG, they we're not in the OCG, it's a TCG. Yeah, but again, um, there. Are, if you go to any other Yugi tuber, most of them will say that looking to the OCG is not a bad idea. But anyways, like, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.